Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 26, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we did rally quite a bit on Friday's session and got towards these all-time highs at the 4,188. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that a MACD has crossed the signal line. It's still in bullish territory, but has crossed the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. Sarcastic has crossed the signal line to the upside, indicating bullish momentum. CCI is bullish and the RSI is bullish, but on the edge of being overbought. So this probably could rally further towards uh, 4,230. That's basically the top of the bullish band before uh, pulling back. Uh, we should see significant uh, support resistance here at uh, 4,250. And uh, yes, we could see another week where this basically rallies before breaking back down towards the middle of the bullish band, which is roughly 4,095 at this current stage. Break below that opens the door all the way down towards the 4,000 uh, level. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones, very similar here. We did rally quite a bit. We got towards these previous highs of 34,146. Uh, but then broke down yet again. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is in the bullish territory, but it has broken below the signal line. We can see that stochastic is uh, about to cross, cross the signal line to the upside, and the CCI is just underneath 100 and uh, is getting close to uh, the bullish territory here at above 100. So the CCI, RSI is basically flat at this current stage, but it's, it's approaching overbought conditions. So we could see this uh, as well rally towards the very top here of the bullish band. That's a 34,338. And uh, if we were to break down, we most likely find support down here at the middle of the bullish band, or if we, that breaks the very bottom of the bullish band around there at 33,000. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the Nasdaq is just hovering around at this same area. We are not going anywhere at this current stage. So there is earnings season and uh, most of the major tech companies are going to, um, we're going to see their earnings in next week. So Tesla and most of those major tech companies are basically going to show their earnings and that uh, that's probably the reason why we're trading sideways. It's basically just a pause in this market. And if earnings are very good, then we could head towards uh, 14,500. It's probably it's going to be the next target or 15,000 in, in the long run. But we are hovering just above the 20 exponential. So we have basically been going back and forward on, on Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, and on Friday. And uh, technically, we haven't gone anywhere. We are just underneath the very highs of the 14,000. Uh, 14,064 and are trading at 13,923 at this current stage. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is about to cross the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. Stochastic is, is uh, crossing the signal line to the upside, indicating bullish momentum. CCI is bullish and the RSI is also bullish. We are 60, so there is uh, still some room to the upside. We could see this rally all the way up towards the 14, uh, 14 uh, 1,312 before uh, may any pullback towards the 20 exponential. If we were to break below the 20 exponential, then there are a few areas of, of interest. We can see that this area here, which is roughly at 13,255, uh, that is where we previous had major resistance back here and also here, and that should offer quite a bit of support. We can see that the 50 moving average is also right at this area. So a pullback towards this area here, that should probably be as far as this should go. We also have the bottom of the bullish band traveling in this same direction. So there should be a massive amount of support underneath the, uh, the 20 exponential if this were to drop towards those levels. So um, yes, let's go look at the DAX.
So as you can see in the DAX, we did pull back towards the middle of the bullish band at 15,153 and uh, then basically rallied. And at this current stage, we're trading at 15,273. Tech indicators, they are all bearish at this point. MACD is still in bullish territory, but it is underneath the signal line. The uh, stochastic is basically flat. CCI is bearish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So we are still in an uptrend. And um, as you can see, the last time we basically hit the middle of the bullish band, we basically rallied significantly. We have tested it twice this time. At both times, it has basically uh, been holding. So that is a very bullish sign that we probably go toward, will go towards 15,500 or probably 16,000 in the in coming weeks or month. If we break down from here, we could find major support down at the bottom of the bullish band at 14,795 or the 50 moving average down here at 14,600. So let's look at the UK, 100, FTSE. And as you can see, very similar here. We did have this breakdown towards the middle of the bullish band quite aggressively here on Monday and then Tuesday. And then we have slowly tried to recover uh, from this fall. At this current stage, it looks like we're going to head back to 7,000 7, 7, and beyond that. So we are in uptrends and these pullbacks have basically been um, in the past buying opportunities. You can see buyers have coming back in at the 20 and the 50 moving average and to pullbacks like these people are usually taking advantage of them. So this has a long way to go before recovering from this major crash back last year. So major indices have all already recovered. So for example, the US indices, the DAX have already recovered, but the, the FTSE has not recovered yet. So it's still a long way to go or long way off from these previous highs of 7,683. But it looks like we're getting there. Um, it looks like every time we basically have a pullback, uh, buyers come in and buy it and then we can just continue slowly grinding to the upside so let's look at the china 50. so this really took off uh, last week we tested it at um, 200 moving average three times or even actually five times and then we basically took off on especially on wednesday it rallied above the 20 exponential broke down yet again on thursday and then completely rallied on friday we are just underneath the 50 moving average and the top of the bullish band. Technical indicators, they are all turning around. So we have been here before. We did see this rally here. Uh, this is only three weeks ago where we rallied to 17,737 and then we absolutely collapsed again. So until we basically break above the 50 moving average and we probably see a crossing of the 20 and 50 moving average and the 50 moving average becomes uh, uh, support instead of resistant um, that will basically be interesting basically to see what basically happens here but this is an encouraging sign, encouraging sign but we have seen these moves before getting top of the bullish band has also basically been broken down quite significantly so hope you found this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much